This is a fir person first presentation by Aaron McCain, Andrea Bergamini, Peter Hansen, and Lisa Ricks. What does person first mean to me? Peter says, every person is able to believe in something. This is what makes us a person first. Based on the process of believing, one creates meaning and purpose in life. We all do this all the time. This capacity is universal and the foundation of what makes us a person. By believing together, we create culture, society, organizations, and families. As social workers, we are curious about others as a person first, their beliefs, and their resulting creation of meaning and purpose. How are people's beliefs different and consequently their meanings and purpose in life? We have a wonderful opportunity to take a glimpse on how the difference in beliefs shape individuals to become the persons that we serve. It allows us the rare opportunity to see beyond the assessments, conditions, and troubles to see the wonderful existence of a person first. Once we see them for who they truly are, we can, through empathy and knowledge, assist them in their struggles. Andrea says, person first means to me that I want to hear and embrace your story. I am curious about you and I respect you. I acknowledge that you are choosing to share with me. We all have struggles, hardships, challenges, triumphs, fears, and moments of accomplishment. You are not defined by labels or categorizations, and neither am I, because each person is different and valuable. I am here to meet you on the level of human experience first. As a social worker, person first is important to me because it helps me lead with compassion, respect, empathy, and connect through the human experience. I am a friend, a sister, a colleague, a student, a programmer. I have experienced depression, loss, joy, struggle, beauty, love, and pain. I am a person first. <clears throat> Aaron says, person first perspective means recognizing that we are all in the process of creating meaning and purpose. This process is lifelong and each person should have the right to engage in this process without judgment or labels. The person first perspective means utilizing person first language. The recognition that we are all people first and that no matter what illness, disability, identity, or characteristics we have, we are people first. This means changing the way that we describe or talk about someone or some group of people. Something Jen said this semester that I feel captures person first perspective was regarding the commitment to never have a conversation about somebody that we would not have in the presence of the person. I am still working on it, but this is a definitely a commitment I would like to make as well. I decided to write, I want others, especially service providers, to see me for myself instead of my diagnosis. I have bipolar disorder. Sometimes I present as manic, sometimes depressed. This should not take away from the fact that I have feelings, emotions, good days, and bad days, just like everyone else. As a human, we all go through extremes, some just more extreme than others. I want everyone to treat me as a person instead of someone scary who might change right in front of them. I am who I am, accept me for that, person first. This is a collage that a lady that Erin works with made um, in response to her question of what person first means to her. She says, I am box or la label worthy. And then she had all these wonderful pictures. And at the bottom it says, but I am a person, a.k.a. a human being. And at the bottom, if you can't read it, it says, FYI, I don't like your labels and I don't want your boxes. Just another human being here, people, navigating through the world just like you. These are two young ladies that um, work with Erin. Here's one saying that she'd rather be a person first. This is my husband, Andy. He has severe anxiety. But he wants to be seen as a person first. This is a young lady that is in Aaron's life. And she is a leader. But is, wants to be known as a person first. This is a lady that I work with. Her name is Natalie. And she is a person first. This young lady in Erin's life says she has issues with her weight. But she wants to be known as a person first as well. This is my son, Jared. He suffers from major depression. But he wants to be known for him, his own self, 
and he wants to be a person first. This is Erin. She's a working mother, a hard job, as anyone knows. But she wants to be known that she's a person first instead of just a working mom. This is Peter's son, and he is a person first. This is Peter, and he is a person first. This is Peter's wife, Heather, and she is a person. This is Lisa. This is how I feel. But I always want to be known as a person first. Thank you very much for your time, and I hope you like the presentation. Um, I hope you have a great end of semester, and have a wonderful holiday. Have a great evening.